Hey friends, so we wanted to jump on here and give you guys an update on our complete beginning to end farm to table experience as first time pig farmers. And it was an incredible experience. And so we're gonna take you from the beginning to end, talk about everything from uh, how we ordered them to the cost of them and Ultimately, what did we receive back in the end? So Febu it was probably February when I placed my order to a local farmer, and they're called Idle River Farms. And we placed an order for two feeder pigs. It was necessary to get in early, so we didn't have to wait uh, to pick them up, and we wanted to have enough time that we could raise them within the year. We ended up picking up our two little feeder pigs. They were about eight or nine weeks old when we picked them up on June 2nd. And we paid $80 each for these two red wattle pigs. We raised them about six months. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Um, we had some fun experiences just bringing them home, never, Having done it before, we did not know what to expect. They were raised primarily on um, an enclosed pastured paddock. I would say about the time that they were about four and a half to five months old, they had ate all the grass that there was. Mm -hmm. It took them a while, but yeah. they really enjoyed the grass, especially in the beginning when they were really small. They loved to hide in it and they play were, tag. Yeah, they were wonderful grazers. Um, so that was one benefit of having the red wattles is they did not start rooting until they until that the grass was basically eight down. So I would say about four and a half, five months old. Then they finished the paddock doing a good job rooting it up. During that time raising them, uh, we fed them lots of garden scraps and kitchen waste, and uh, they were just wonderfully sweet to raise. Mm -hmm. Our human leftovers, we would have dinner and we'd have leftovers instead of throwing things out, we fed it out to the pigs. Mm -hmm. Sticking with that feed, uh, I tried to calculate, and I did not keep a ledger book, but I did try to estimate about how much I fed them. And I would say weekly feed cost averaged, went anywhere from $14 to $28 a week because as they grew, they were going through more feed. So I estimated in total my feed costs were about $560 for six months raising these two hogs. So you, you tried to do the, the taping method to get an estimate on the weights of these pigs just prior to taking them in for processing. Do you remember what our estimated weights were? No, no I, I can't remember offhand. Was off it 190 hand. or something like that? I think yeah. it was 190 and 198 or something like that was our, was our estimate. And we, that was all we really had to go on. We ended up taking them to the processor, the butcher, on December 3rd. And a couple of days later, we got a call from our butcher and said, well, congratulations, we have your hanging weights for you. And to our surprise, one was 240 pounds and the other was 243. Yeah, I was really surprised how close in weight they were because the way that they looked to me, one looked much smaller than the other one, but I guess they just carried their weight differently. And I've heard like some people have had challenges when they get the same breed that uh, their weight difference will be dramatically different. And so I think that we had a good scenario and it probably helped that we were just raising the two pigs and we weren't raising a whole bunch of pigs that one could get pushed away from the feed. Right, um, There's some, you end up with dominance issues. Where right. We definitely had a dominant pig, but it must have not been as bad as it looked as I was taking care of them. <clears throat> so I was super excited about that. We ended up filling out our cut sheet with um, our the office manager at the processor 
She was super helpful for us. Having never gone through the process before, we really just asked a lot of questions. Um, I think we kept her on the phone for almost 30 minutes. Right. <laughs> we had her on speakerphone and we were just drilling her with questions. Well, what about this? And what about this? And where does this part come from? And she was really helpful. Yeah, we were really nervous too, getting ourselves in a situation where we had very expensive um, processing fees. So we didn't order like a whole lot of specialty items or a whole bunch of like extra processing fees like you would have to pay for smoking. We did get some things smoked, but we were just didn't know what this final total cost was going to be. So we were somewhat conservative and modest with what we asked for. Yeah, I mean, we did. We, we definitely did go out on a limb and try to experiment in small quantities, though. I mean, so bacon, definitely we wanted all the bacon smoked. Um, the same with jowl bacon. We wanted the jowl bacon and we wanted it to have it smoked. We did do some small quantities of Canadian bacon, some sausage, some hot sausage, some breakfast sausage, and even some bratwurst. Yeah. We also got the ears. I did. We so. wanted to dehydrate them and mm -hmm. use them as dog treats. Um, I, of course, got all the fat because you guys know I'm trying to use as much of the lard as I can to make my own homemade products. And for just baking and cooking purposes, it'll be nice to have. Mm -hmm. yeah, my sister wanted the ham hocks and the feet for doing her southern cooking, so we made sure we got some of those for her. Yeah, and even a little bit of baby back ribs. Yeah. We got a couple of little slabs of those to try, so... Is probably not how we're going to do things every time. This was kind of an experiment, so we did get a lot of different things to figure out what we like and what we don't like about it. In the end, though, um, when she called, I was on vacation at the time. The processor called you and said, the pigs are ready, and uh, quoted Todd the cost, and he was like, can you see? say that again <laughs> <laughs> because he thought he misheard her um honestly we didn't know what to expect so in total the processing fees only cost us 440 dollars which that includes the smoking yep. and and everything yeah so let's add this all together pigs 160 dollars food was 560 dollars processing $440 for a total of $1,160. And if you divide the hanging weight of the two pigs, if you, you add the two together, you come up with about 483 pounds. You divide that into $1,160. It works out to about $2.40 a pound for the pork that we got back. Some of it being bacon, some being pork chops, big hams, the roast, all of it. So, of course, when you go to the grocery store, you're not going to pay that kind of the same fee per poundage for different cuts. But anyway, it just gives you an idea. I mean, we are talking, I did feed them organically. They were pasture raised. You can't get that kind of price if I was to go to the grocery store. So we're really super happy with our experience as first time uh, pig raisers, mm -hmm. and we have a freezer full of pork. Absolutely jam-packed. We have enjoyed bacon, ham, sausage, and ground pork to date, right? That's what we've cooked yep. so far? Yep. I don't think we've had pork chops yet or... Nope. But we have a lot. We have a lot of all of it. That brand new freezer that we bought, it was completely filled with the pork itself and the seven bags of fat, trim fat, ended up going into our pre-existing freezer that we had. Anyway, so we just wanted to tell you guys our complete farm to table experience. It was a wonderful experience. I highly recommend it to anyone who's hesitant um, there really wasn't much I could say that was bad about the experience, if anything. 
I mean, a couple. Not necessarily. Th- Some things we had to be patient with, like the the nipple waterer. Yeah. That that they didn't take to that right away, but we were patient and um, they they took to it eventually. Mm-hmm. All in all, Rachel's gonna raise pigs again. <laughs> Is Dad gonna raise pigs again? Yeah. Yeah. It was it was fun, and they're they're super friendly. They have great personalities. So if you want to know more or if we didn't quite answer all the questions that you might have about our first time raising pigs, just leave your comments down in the description below and we'll make sure to get back to you and close the loop on any questions you might have. So as always, thanks for joining. And we'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.